Hey guys, CZ, CZ Shadow 2. Um, guy wants the sights uh, changed, so he got a set of uh, of these True Glow TFX Pro. They are tritium and fiber optic. Okay, so well, that's really what they uh, what they look like. That one. I don't think it's entirely the right sights for the gun. They are definitely for a C uh, for a CZ, but that part's cut lower than the on this gun, and this is level, so there's going to be a gap. But it is what it is. And this one has uh, already been hollowed out over there for that raw pin. So it goes in there. And then the open goes through it. And the way that that works is normally you got to drill that. So you, you put the sight in, and then you you uh, you drill the hole uh, through the sight, or the half hole through the sight. And when you do that, when you do one of those, um, make sure you drill from left to right, so that the rotation of the drill pushes the sight into that dovetail. Otherwise, if you draw from this side, the rotation of the draw pulls the sight out. And make sure whether you're going to use the sights or not. Let's say you're going to go optic and you want to take that sight off and make sure to put the raw pin back. Because that raw pin, although it's only half of it's engaging with the sight, the bottom half is actually holding the barrel bushing into the, uh, uh, the barrel bushing into the slide so make sure to always have that rope in, in whether there's a sight or not got the back sight out slack off the two set screws or grub screws drill it out but look they got an excess of loctite or some sort of a epoxy that's in there man it was tight it really didn't want to come out trying to fit the uh, the new sight on the on the cz and I was right, if I dry fit that, there's a bit of a gap right there. But that's not the problem. This site, the front overhang on that site is running into this rib. There. So this is definitely not the right site. Going back to the Trugler website, they list this site for all CZ75s except for the TS and the, I think the uh, PCR and other than that it's supposed to fit all but I think that True Glow's listing is older than what the Shadow 2 is so now I spoke to the owner gonna take material off the bottom of the site there and then uh, and then install it got the site in little uh, smooth jaw vise with some uh, painters tape to uh, just protect the uh, protect the, the the site so I want to take down on that surface so I want to go that way with that surface I don't want to change the the shape of the V so what I got is a little triangular file where I've taken taken down the one side you know of the filing so when I got that against the surface I don't want to file I'm only going down so I'll put the file in in that way and then uh, and just work it down from there. Something like that. And I'll just keep going and fitting until I clear that um, that rib on the top of the side. There you go. Got it uh, filed away and then blacked it up with some Ballastol's uh, quick bluing. So you put this on, makes it black immediately, and then you rinse it off with uh, with water. And then I put Ballastol oil on because this is an alkaline, this is acidic, and this neutralizes the uh, the bluing to stop it from you know from continuing to rust. So the the taper on the two Vs are not uh, 
uh, on the frame and this is not exactly the same so once I got that material uh, out there you know out there so that it can slide on now now it's it's loose it's snug but it, it's uh, it's just a hand fit so it's, it's gonna be okay I'm gonna uh, it's got a set screw in the middle there I'll just put some blue Loctite on that and then you know pull it up on uh, on that set screw taking out the front sight requires roll pin punch take out that little roll pin over there get it flat on the table CZs are hard because there's not a flat surface on this thing. Everything's tapered. Right, so I'll try and make it as as uh, as flat as possible. There's a our roll pin and. Side. I'm trying not to break that fiber optic. I know it's coming out, but I would still prefer to leave it in one piece. What I've got here is my my rust scraper that I use to scrape out um, or scrape off rust, caked rust. Uh, it's copper, so it's not going to damage it. There we go. Fiber optic still in one piece. Gotcha. So that's out. New sight. It just uh, needs to slide in there. And it appears to go through properly. Maybe need to tap it a bit. Soft face hammer. Got the punch through. So we know that the root or the channel for the roll pin is as as open and I'm gonna use the same roll pin. I'm gonna put the open end of the roll pin to the top and the reason being the sight has got the least force on it and the barrel bushing has then got the full strength of uh, the roll pin to support it. Okay, roll pin starter punch. I've got the split on the top where the writing on the starter punch is. So I know to keep that to the top get it in there. I've got very little travel because I'm going to run up there and uh, and mow up the slide right over there. So I am just going to tap it to get it in. And I don't want to go any further because I'm going to run into the uh, I'm going to run into the into the slide. Got it in with a punch so I used a punch that's slightly smaller than than that cut out so it took it until it's nearly flush and then knocked the final bit in with the uh, with a roll pin punch there you go all done that's in it's all in back side see there's a bit of a gap there they were so sitting a bit forward but anyway that's what I had to work with and that's what the owner supplied and wanted yes. stay safe we'll talk again cheers